Comedian D.L. Hughley has shared a heartwarming memory about the late Matthew Perry. Here's what his former co-star says was his first thought when he heard about Perry's passing. On October 28th, the entertainment world was stunned when the Friends actor tragically passed away at the age of 54. Perry was found unresponsive in his hot tub at his home. His family said in a statement to People, We are heartbroken by the tragic loss of our beloved son and brother. Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and a friend. You all meant so much to him, and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. Of course, the passing of the sitcom star has had a massive impact on his fans. One fan wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, Haven't been this sad about a famous death since Robin Williams. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. Goodbye, Chandler Bing. Some of his industry peers have also shared their own heartwarming memories of the actor, including his former co-star D.L. Hughley. After the conclusion of Friends in 2004, Perry returned to television in the short-lived 2006 series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. Created by Aaron Sorkin, the show followed the behind-the-scenes shenanigans of a group of writers and producers for the fictional sketch comedy show Studio 60. In addition to Perry, the comedy drama was backed by an A-list cast, including Sarah Paulson and Bradley Whitford. While the show only lasted one season, Perry's warm personality and kindness had a lasting effect on his castmates, including D.L. Hughley. Yes. Yes! <laughs> in a recent interview with the New York Post, the popular comedian reflected on his time working with Perry and the heartwarming moment he shared with the late actor. Hughley told the Post, I was on the road when Perry died, and I instantly flashed right back to Studio 60. It was very late Friday night, and my son had turned 18, so I was going to take him out, and we were all going to hang out all night. He went on to say that despite his plans, filming was set to run late. Hughley continued, And Matthew let me leave. He did something I would never do. He switched the order of things, so I I could leave early and be with my son. So when I heard he had died, I flashed back to that moment. Hughley also praised Perry for his utmost professionalism, adding, Matthew led by example. Hughley wasn't the only star of Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip to share a connection with the late Matthew Perry. On October 31st, Bradley Whitford uploaded a heartbreaking tribute on Instagram, which featured a throwback interview clip featuring Perry. Whitford wrote, Matthew Perry made me laugh hard. You have not lived until you have witnessed one of his in-between-the-takes confidential riffs on the absurdity of show business and the idiocy of male confidence, wrapped up perfectly with the sudden realization that we were both grown men who wear makeup for a living. Whitford went on to laud the Friends star's open heart before shedding light on Perry's experiences with substance abuse. His battle was heroic. They don't have award shows for that. They should. He was the fountain of light with a huge capacity for darkness. He was profoundly blessed and terribly cursed. Whitford also encouraged fans to open their hearts and share their own vulnerabilities as Perry had done before his death. Before his tragic passing, the actor remained an open book about his struggles and his desire to help others with addiction. The best thing about me, bar none, is if somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? I can say yes. While promoting his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, Perry told ABC News, Because I was on Friends, more people will listen to me, so I've got to take advantage. I've got to help as many people as I can. Police told TMZ that Perry did not have either fentanyl or meth, two common culprits in opioid-related deaths, in his system at the time of his passing. Additional testing to determine whether Perry had other substances in his system will take four to six months to complete. <laughs> 